Yo guys, so it's another trip out. Um, it's a Sunday car boot, so it should be decent. Weather is really good. I didn't go out last weekend because I was out the night before and then I didn't think the weather was going to be that good. Um, so we're here today and yeah, hope you find something. Um, what else do I need to find? I need to find some cardboard boxes for all the caps and I need to get another rail because I'm running out of space. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new here and also follow my Instagram and my Depot will be down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's finds I H I N D S F I N D S. Right, we're done here. Um, it's actually decent. It was really slow at the start. Um, I didn't think I had that much until I got back to the car. Uh, but I've got like two IKEA bags full of stuff. Um, mainly sportswear, um, a few decent bits. I'm now going to shoot off to another car boot on my way back home. Um, I need to pick up some cardboard boxes and I'll see if there's anything there. But if there is, I'll put some footage. If there isn't, then I'll shoot back home and we'll go through everything that I found. Right, we're at car boot number two. Um, there's not really much I want here. I literally just want to get some boxes. I'll probably have a look down a few rows until I actually get to like the box man. He like sells boxes and like bubble wrap. Um, but yeah, I need a load of boxes for um, all the caps I'm selling. Um, but yeah, if I find anything, I'll film it. Um, if not, you'll see me at home.
just want to show off the t-shirt. Look at all of these. I've got about 40 of them, I think. I'm going to have to count them when I get home, but that whole bag is full. Poor Arkea bag. It started to rip, which is mad for an Arkea bag. Um, but yeah, loads and loads of Harley tees. Right, that was um, a bit of an excursion. Um, on my way down, there was like a load of Harley tees, basically. Um, I didn't get any good footage of it on the rails because I was just grabbing them. Um, but I got like over 40 of them, which is mad. Um, and I found like a few other bits here and there. Uh, but yeah, I just cashed them out on them. I got the ones which had good prints, basically. Um, yeah, got my cardboard boxes as well, if I can get them up. A load of cardboard boxes. Always ship your caps in cardboard boxes, especially if they've got tags and they're dead stock. Um, but yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here. Um, follow my Instagram and my Depop. It'll be down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's Finds, I H I N D S F I N D S. Um, we're now going to shoot home now, and we'll go through everything that I found. I'll show you all the Harley Tees. They're all like early 2000s ones, so like from 2000 to like 08, I think was the latest date. Um, there's a few like newer, newer, like proper new age ones with like printed tags. Uh, but I basically picked up everything which I thought looked cool. Um, and had like decent tags and uh, like a uh, early 2000 date. I will shoot back home now and we'll go through everything that I found. If you can see, those are all the Harley tees. And then, yeah, just a load of stuff basically. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you back home. Right, back home, um, got so much to go through. Um, I think it's about 42 Harley tees over there. And then there's a decent amount of like normal car boot stuff. Uh, we'll start with the car boot stuff and then We'll go into the Harley stuff. I don't know the best way to do it without making it a super long video. I might just flash them on the screen and maybe see the sizes just to help people out if they're interested. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into it. We'll start with the normal car boot stuff and then finish off with the Harley stuff. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe. I keep saying it, um, but we're about to hit 2,000 subs. I think should be I should be at 2,000 by the end of this week. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Starting off with the tees, um, I'm just going to smash through all of this. Uh, so first one is actually a Supreme pocket tee. First item of Supreme I've ever found at a car boot, charity shop, anywhere. Uh, paid 50p on it and I'm not too sure what they go for. Maybe £20, £30. I might give this one to my brother, uh, see if it fits him. But yeah, I was pretty chuffed with that. Um, that was at the first car boot as well. Um, but 50p, you can't really go wrong with that. Then we got a New Age Nike t-shirt you see it's got a printed tag just a center swoosh usa uh, paid a pound on it 10 to 15 all in i was really hyped to find this it's like a kids ed harley t-shirt um it would probably fit a girl um it would look sick as well just with that graphic paid a pound on it uh it's gonna go in the kids collection then i found a long sleeve tommy hilfiger t-shirt paid i think i paid two pound on this one uh, i'm not too sure what they go for probably around 20 25 um, I'll have to do a bit of searching on Depop, see what they are. And then the final top is this England Nike Rugby Polo um, playing top. This is from like the golden era, the 2003 World Cup when they won. I'm probably just going to hoard this and just wait it out until the Six Nations comes next year. Um, but yeah, I usually sell these for around 25 a piece. Um, the long sleeves, they do really well. Um, I've never had a short sleeve one. But yeah, I'll probably just haul this one till the Six Nations come. Now we got all the jumpers that I found. First one, plain, simple, Reebok Essential. It is Reebok Essentials as well, uh, but it's just an essential sweatshirt. Small, small logo, fully embroidered. Uh, paid a pound on this. Uh, got this with the Nike t-shirt. And you sell these all day for like 20 all in, 25 I'd say. Maybe a bit more if you want to sit on it. Then we got another one, but a Nike one. Early 2000s tag. Uh, I paid 50p on that one. Again, same price, around 20 to 25. Then we got this like fluoro vault green Adidas zip up fleece. It's on that 90s tag, I think, there. Uh, I paid three pound on that, probably 15 to 25 again. Um, it's not really the best season for that, but the sweatshirts will do all right in the summer. And then we got a Chelsea Adidas sweatshirt, probably mid. 2000s, I'm not too sure. Mid to late 2000s, maybe around 2010. 
I think I think that's an older Adidas um, sign logo they used. Uh, but I paid I think I paid two or three pound on this one, probably around fifteen to twenty. And then the final sweatshirt is this old one on an old Made in USA nutmeg tag. Uh, paid 50p on it. And what is it? The common dolphin. I think it's just an animal, just a touristy sort of animal sweatshirt print. Uh, but yeah, 50p, probably get 20 to 25 maybe. Um, it's actually quite a decent one. I think I have to give it a wash and that should be all right to go on Depop. Next we've got the shoes that I found. First, some Air Max 97s, I'm gonna focus there. Uh, paid 15 pound for the pair. Um, they're pretty clean condition from 2018, so very recent. Not too sure what I'll put them up for. Um, at least 40, maybe all the way up to like 80, 90. Um, I might give them a bit of a scrub before I put them on, but easy money there. And then I picked these ones up at the second car boot. Um, I forgot the name of the model. Uh, that they remind me of but it's quite a recent one that's out in the stores at the moment it's like p2000 or something like that uh but that's what they, these reminded me of i'm not too sure if they might actually be them but it's just a girl's pair from 2010 size 5.5 uh these will be on depop soon these are in really good condition as well i could probably just put them straight up on depop that's it for the shoes and then we've got this one jacket um it's like a reebok athletic is it athletic department yeah Reebok Athletic Department, I think I paid five for it. Um, I've had one of these before, the exact same one in the exact same color. Um, it must have been a year and a half ago and I sold it for, I think it was 64 or 55. One of those numbers, it was over 50. I know that, um, probably won't get that these days. Um, I'd say around 40 odds. Um, I'll try for higher and just test the waters with it, but still good money in it. Next, we've got all the bottom half bits, um, a bit of everything really, and one accessory that I'll show you right now. It is like a Nike fleeced, I don't even know what you call these sort of hats, but it's like the DJ Steve's sort of thing. It's got a swoosh there, and then a swoosh on the back. I paid a pound for it, probably just gonna hold it for like pop-ups. Um, probably not the most sellable thing at the moment to go on Depop. Then moving into the trousers, or the bottom half bits, Got some Adidas joggers, nothing crazy, just them golden stripes, and then it's on that old tag, you see there. Paid a pound on them, probably get around £20 all in on them, I'd say. Then I found some old England shorts there, I paid a fiver on them. Um, I think I've got the matching top for this, or it might be a white version, it's, I'm not too sure, but I've got it from the same few years, it's in the same age range. Uh, but I paid five on them, probably around 20 on them, maybe 30. Um, I have to, Again, I have to have a look on Depop. The next three bits I got from the same guy. Um, I think I paid 50 for two of them, and then he threw in some jeans at the end. Uh, but these are some Stone Island Denim's cargo shorts. It literally just says Stone Island there. Uh, they're in navy. They're in pretty used condition. Probably won't get too much for them, um, and they're a big size. Uh, again, I'll have to look on Depop to see what they're going for. And then with them, I got these Avisu jeans there and there. And then I literally bought those two and then he threw in these Levi's, which I don't think are real anyway. Um, he gave them to me and said, see what you can do with them. I, did, I told him I think they're bootlegs anyway, but they haven't even got a tab. They've just got like an embroidered on Levi tab, if you see there. That's the back of them. That's the front of them. They haven't got any tags or anything, so I'd say they're like some early 2000 bootlegs, probably market store specials, um, and not really worth anything. Probably just give them to charity, really. That's it for all the car boot bits. Um, now we're gonna get into all the Harley stuff that we'll just try and smash out as quick as we can without making the video too long. Right, Harley tees. There's 42 of them that I picked up. I probably left like another 20 or 30 on the rails. Uh, they were more new age pieces, printed on tags, and just weren't really my sort of thing. And I didn't think they had the best of graphics. They wanted five pound a piece, or three for 12 pounds. And yeah, I just picked up a load. I picked them up in threes, just to make it easier. They're all from the year 2000 to 2008, so they've all got like that early 2000 vibe. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a sad story, why they were selling them. It was like a family friend 
had died from COVID and then his wife wanted to get rid of them. Uh, they tried selling them on eBay and didn't have too much luck. So they were happy to just get rid of them. You can't really complain getting three for 12 pounds. Um, and like the night before, I think it was a, yeah, it was a, it would have been the Sunday night. I literally sold a Harley Davidson t-shirt, which was like really rubbish, boring graphic. Didn't have any flames or eagles or anything like that. I sold that for like 20 pound all in. So I thought, why not get a load of them? And yeah, I did. If you haven't seen my Instagram post, go and check it out. Um, that's all of them laid out on the floor. But yeah, I've been rambling on. Let's get into it all. Starting off with the women's pieces. There. There. I'm probably gonna go a bit quiet and I'll just show you all of the pieces instead of talking. These are all still women's pieces. That one, that's got a good graphic. That one, very Y2K. But I didn't see the laces when I bought them, unfortunately. But still money in them. This one's quite cool. There. We're still going. A couple more women's pieces. This one's got the built-in long sleeve. And then the final women's piece, again, there's a few doubles, um, just because they got good graphics, basically. Now we've got all the men's bits. I moved the camera back because there, there's some big sizes. There's like some, it goes from like medium all the way to like 3XL. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna bash these all out. That one, this one's a cool one. Just out in the pocket. This one's a good one. I think this is 2006, 2008. That's a good graphic. This one reminds me of um, Judge Dredd. There. This one's from 2008. I don't think there's any that have any back graphics. Um, I don't know if it's because they're not from a dealership or a certain place. They're just Harley Tees. That's a cool long sleeve. I think I've got three of these. And then we've got red one, another one of those, that, I'm just slowly building a pile on the floor, which is going to be annoying to pick up, that one's a bit tacky, so is this one, but still decent t-shirts, can't really complain, three for £12, another long sleeve, they're all dead stock with tags, tags there, some of them don't have tags, so but they're all dead stock. This one was like sort of a meh one that I didn't really want to pick up, but thought why not? Um, there's gonna be money in all of them. This one's from 2006. That one there. Well, this one's a small one. I think it's a men's. No, I think it's a medium. Probably a women's medium. That one there. Another long sleeve, just a spell out. Another one of the flames down the arm. Another one of those. This one's just an embroidered logo there on the chest. And then we've got another pocket tee. This one's a cool one. I've only got one of these. There. I've only got one of these ones as well. That's another good graphic. This one is a rubbish graphic, to be honest, um, but picked it up because it looked all right-ish. Um, got quite a few of these ones, and they're a bit tacky, but easy, like 15 to 20 pound all in. And then the final one is that one. That is it for all the Harley Tees and then everything else that I found today. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new here. We're going to hit 2K hopefully by next weekend. Uh, what else? Follow my Instagram and my Depop. we down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's fine. So I H I N D S F I N D S. I think that's it. Like, subscribe, and peace.